Good morning. Is this working? Yes. It's working. Well, good morning. Uh, good to see you, Michael Dowden, who is the president and the CEO of Northwell Health, uh, which is the largest health system in the state of New York. It's very good to be with you. Dr. Chester, pleasure. Good morning. Uh, and to you, uh, the person who is going to take the first vaccine in the state of New York, maybe the first vaccine shot in the United States. Uh, Sandra Lindsay, an ICU nurse. It's a pleasure to be with you. Uh, and you are in Long Island Jewish Medical Center, which is in the great borough of Queens. Good things come from Queens. <laughs> uh, let me start by saying uh, thank you. Uh, thank you, uh, doctor. Thank you, nurse. Uh, thank you, Mr. Dowling. Thank you for everything you've done for all New Yorkers through this pandemic. Uh, I know how horrific it was. It was a modern day battlefield. And that's why the word heroes is so appropriate for what you did. You put your fear aside uh, and you stepped up every day to serve others. And you did it magnificently well. So I can't thank you enough. This vaccine is exciting because uh, I believe this is the weapon that will end the war. Uh, it's the beginning of the last chapter of the book, uh, but now we just have to do it. Vaccine doesn't work if it's in the vial, right? So New York State has been working very hard to deploy it, to get it out. We have trains, planes, and automobiles moving this all over the state right now. Uh, we want to get it deployed, and we want to get it deployed quickly. And we're here to watch you take the first shot. So... Michael Dowling, uh, Dr. Chester, Sandra Lindsay, we're all with you. Hey, Governor, thank you so much. And uh, let me also express uh, our thanks to you for your extraordinary leadership during this whole pandemic over the last number of months and obviously today. And the fact that you committed to science and data to guide your leadership is absolutely extraordinary. And as you said, we're in Eastern Queens. And as you know, Queens was the epicenter of the COVID issue back a number of months ago. This is where it hit the hardest. And this facility, Long Island Jewish, was right at the center. And here at Northwell, uh, you know, we've seen well over 100,000 COVID patients. And at one point back in uh, April, we had over 3,500 patients in our hospitals. And as you said, we are the largest health system in New York, and uh, we are very, very proud of our frontline staff, and of course of the frontline staff of all of the, and all of the hospitals and all of the facilities across the region, this spectacular work, and as you said, they are the real heroes. Uh, so uh, it's a pleasure to be here uh, with Sandra and Dr. Chester, and I don't think we need to delay any further uh, because this is a special moment, a special day. This is what everybody has been waiting for, uh, to be able to give the vaccine and to hopefully have, see if this is the, the beginning of the end of the COVID issue. But I just would like to say something, though, that just because we're giving out the vaccine is no excuse for the public out there not to continue wearing masks, not to social distance, etc. You have to continue to comply with safety standards, even though the vaccine is going to be distributed over the no no next couple of months. You have to do both if we're going to be successful here, as you know very well. So again, Governor, we thank you. Thank you for your extraordinary leadership. And with that, let me um, turn it over to Dr. Chester and then um, and with, uh, with Sandra here. Hope Sandra is a critical care nurse has been on the front lines all during the, the crisis, um, is a director in critical care. She has seen a lot, and uh, uh, she is on the very, very happy to be here to receive uh, the vaccine. And Dr. Chester is a director of our employee health services. So with that, Dr. Chester, we'll turn it over to you. Feeling today? I'm feeling great. Yeah. Okay, so
also a donor to the Mont Blotoy. Sandra, you didn't you didn't flinch. I take it that Dr. Chester has a good touch. She has a good touch, and it didn't feel any different from taking any other vaccine. Great, Dr. Chester, it all worked. The the uh, the kit from your end. Everything worked perfectly. Thank you. And you're feeling well. I'm Governor Coma, I'm feeling well. I would like to thank all the frontline workers, all my colleagues who've been doing a yeoman's job to fight this pandemic all over the world. I am hopeful, I feel hopeful today, I'm relieved. I feel like healing is coming. I hope this marks the beginning to the end of a very painful time in our history. I want to instill public confidence that the vaccine is safe. We are in a pandemic, and so we all need to do our part um, to put an end to the pandemic and to um, not give up so soon. There is light at the end of the tunnel, but we still need to continue to wear our masks to social distance. I believe in science. As a nurse, my practice is guided by science. And so I trust science. What I don't trust is that if I contract COVID, I don't know how it will impact me or those who I come in contact with. So I encourage everyone to take the vaccine. So you said it very well, Sandra. We trust science here in the state of New York federal government approved the vaccine. We then had New York State have a separate panel that also approved the vaccine. And we've been following the science all along. Uh, I hope this gives you uh, and the healthcare workers who are battling this every day uh, a sense of security and safety and a little more confidence in doing your job once the second vaccine has been administered. Uh, in New York, we prioritized healthcare workers at the top of the list to receive the vaccine because we know that you are out there every day putting your lives in danger for the rest of us. So we want to make sure we're doing everything we can to keep you safe. And uh, the point about New Yorkers and Americans having to do their part and take the vaccine because the vaccine only works if the American people take it. They estimate we need 75% to 85% of Americans to take the vaccine for it to be effective. Uh, so every American has to do their part. And your point is right. It, uh, it's going to take months before the vaccine hits critical mass. So this is the light at the end of the tunnel but it's a long tunnel and we need people to continue to be do the right thing and the smart thing all through the holiday season uh, and uh, hopefully when we get to about June they estimate the the vaccine can hit critical mass but the healthcare workers will get it first 
because we know that uh, you're super stressed during this holiday season. So God bless you. I want to thank you from the bottom of our hearts for what you do. Everybody knows it. Everybody knows how brave you are and skilled and talented and selfless. When they use the word heroes, we don't mean that lightly. We mean it deeply and sincerely. What you do, showing up every day, you really are heroes. And we wish you and your families a blessed holiday season. Michael Dallas, thank you very much for your leadership once again, my friend. Yeah. Uh, thank you, Gov, and uh, we will beat this. We will win. Thank you. When my Thank time you. comes, when my time comes, I want Dr. Chester. I like her style. <laughs> <laughs> no problem. Uh, I want to be up to you. <laughs> Thank you, guys. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you, guys.